I had a young lady call in and ask about uh, the square of a binomial and the difference of squares and how those patterns applied. Um, so I'm going to use that question as background here. Now in my other video I already sort of went over square of a binomial, um, the one up over here on the left, but I'm going to I'm going to review that just really quick and then we'll spend a little more time on difference of squares. The square of a binomial means that you're taking a binomial like a plus b and you're squaring it, you're multiplying it by itself. When you do that, the pattern of numbers that results is always the same. It always ends up being the first term times itself, or the first term squared. And that's because, let's, let's actually just write this same one out. If I, was do, if I was multiplying a plus b times a plus b, which of course is a plus b squared, the first thing I'd do if I were using the FOIL method would be to take a times a. Well, a times a, the kind of shorthand for that is a squared. And you can see that that term carries right into our, our pattern here. The next thing I do would be to multiply a times b, and then to multiply b times a. Well, a times b and b times a are the same thing. If I have you know one number times another number, or if I take the second number times the first number, since multiplication is commutative, that's the same thing. So I'm going to end up doing that same process twice, which is where that 2ab in the middle term comes from. And then finally, the last thing I do is take b times b, which is b squared, and that's the third term in our little pattern here. So if you want to see it with numbers, um, we could do x plus 2 quantity squared, which would be x plus 2 times x plus 2. So we'd have x times x, that's x squared. x times 2 is 2x, and another 2 times x, so another 2x. So that's plus 4x, and then 2 times 2, which is 4. And we can see that fits the pattern. x squared is our first term squared. 2 times x times 2. So 2 times x is 2x times 2 is 4x. And then finally, the second term, number 2 squared, which is 4. And the same pattern holds true if you have minus in the middle. It just ends up being, the middle term ends up being negative instead of positive. OK, for difference of squares, a difference of squares is where you have a square number and it's being subtracted from another square number. And it always factors in the same manner. Um, if I have, for instance, uh, 4x squared minus 16, and I want to factor this, well, 4x squared minus 16, I have 4, which is 2 squared, x squared, which is x squared, and 16, which is 4 squared. And I'm subtracting from each other. So the result is going to be this pattern here on the right. It, mean, it says that we need to take the square root, basically, of a squared, so the square root of 4x squared would be 2x, and the square root of b squared, so b instead of b squared, so instead of 16 I have 4, and I write them both down twice, 2x and 4. Then I put plus in between one, minus in between the other, and put them both in parentheses, and I'm done. This has been factored now, and you can verify it if you multiply it back out, you have 2x times 2x, that's 4x squared. Then you have 2x times negative 4, which is negative 8x. But then you have 4x times, or 4 times 2x, which is positive 8x. So those two things cancel out. Negative 8x plus 8x just goes away. And then finally, the last term is 4 times negative 4, that's negative 16. So we have 4x squared minus 16, just like we started with.